What's going on guys, me Shukashu, we are back with another Uma Musume video, and we are here with Aguri Cap, the Christmas version of her. It feels like it's been a while since I've trained her. It has, hasn't it? Well, regardless, we are here. Pretty much the same thing, same setup as uh, the Teo setup, because they are both leaders, so didn't have really much to change there, so I'm going with the same setups on the same setups for both characters now realizing that they're both the same position or yeah position I might do a fourth one just in case maybe but we'll see what happens because normally this whole time i've been going with like at least three different positions so we'll see what happens but let's go over the comments from uh yesterday's video and also we do have one from what i see here from the teo video so we'll start off with the ones from yesterday's video but let me just go speed first one is from shinra so far i've pulled the new year's Sitono diamond ballroom saiyan sky and full armor matakane fukukataru my hope is to get either New Year's Kitas on Black or Blaze Nani to Brian, but seems my luck ran dry. Sometimes it be that way after they give you a certain amount. New Year's Satono is pretty good, but for long distance. New Year's Kita would be for medium distance, and I think Nani to Brian. I want to say long distance as well. I'm not too sure, to be quite honest, but. Yeah, sometimes it just be like that. I felt like my luck disappeared right after <laughs> I got my top road, so. As in, like, with them giving me with, giving me a character that I would prefer having, but all good with that. Thank you for the comment, Shinra. Another comment from Nova. I always don't I said another because the first word on the comments another. So another easy skip Uma and card for me. I'm still saving religiously as I realize that you never know what side games throw at you. I do admit that Paris Gold Chip almost had me there. Yeah, Psy Games totally did that right before the Right before the I should probably just rest. Uh, the two and a half anniversary, they totally did that. Throwing Katsuragi Ace and... What was her name? Simbly Serious or Serious Simbly? So yeah, they'll definitely throw a banner out there just because they wanna. Just because they wanna throw us off. But the Paris Gold Ship, I, I did want to pull her. She seemed interesting to pull, so. Kind of. Kind of wish I either had gotten her or Satono Diamond, to be quite honest. I do admit that I'm itching to pull, but Mama Ramano might be near. I'm still waiting for her and hope she comes before the next anniversary. We'll see what happens. I mean. She would definitely have to be before the anniversary, at least sometime before, but I feel like if they do wait until the anniversary or past the anniversary, it might be a little too late, but we'll see what happens. But thank you for the comment, Nova. Next comments from Eugen. I have accumulated 30k jewels. So this banner I'm going to skip. <coughs> oh, excuse me. 
That took a while, but it finally happened. I don't know, I felt like it was going to happen for a while. And the buildup was real. <laughs> like, are you going to happen or not? But I'm looking forward on the next Paco Live update and we'll wait for Grand Cheval. You're waiting for Grand Cheval. Nova's waiting for Mama Ramano. Yep. <laughs> Mama Ramano. And I think I'm just going to save until... We'll see. <laughs> I think Mezuro Ramano, I would probably most likely go for the pull. And all that. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anything can happen. I wouldn't mind. You know what? Oh, thank you for the comment, Eugen. I forgot I just... I'm used to a long comment, so I kind of just waited there. But thank you for the comment, Eugen. Last comment from the video from yesterday is from Gecko. I want to assume this is an incomplete comment or you didn't mean to comment. But I'm going to just say it just because. But it's from Gecko and it just says I'm. Like literally, I am. I'm. So... I don't know what that's about, so I'm going to just say thanks for commenting. I'll also still like it and heart it. I don't know. I'll just like it. But. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know how to respond to it. It's just like, it's kind of just out of nowhere. Just, I'm. But there's also a comment from the Teo video. From I wonder what if there's two different names. Yeah, so I could I, I got either Shiro or Hoshino. But either from Shiro or Hoshino, one of those. I don't know which one you prefer me calling you by, but how many stats cap to get UG rank? I only get double S rank and what should I focus on? Well, for UG rank, you you can get away getting a UG rank with one stat camp most most of the time. Especially if it's a pretty high stat cap and all the other stats are pretty decent. You can easily get a UG that way. I'm assuming you're probably new to the game. If you're asking that, um, but you'll say when you get double S rank and what should I focus on? So I'm assuming you don't have, if you're, this is just me thinking you're, you just started since you're asking how to get a UG, right? Cause right now I'd say if you've been playing for a while, like I want to say at least a couple months, a couple months, maybe up to a year, you should probably most likely be able to get a U UF depending on probably your, what cards you have. But what you should focus on, well, you should probably see if you have a setup that works with what you're planning to get. Uh, for example, majority of the time I run two speed cards because I want to get as much speed as possible. And then, depending if you're doing long distance or medium distance and below, um, I'd say depends on your inheritance. Or your, where am I trying to go with this? Depending on the distance, you can choose to go stamina cards or not. So, for example, like right now, I'm more focusing on medium distance. Don't really have a stamina card out there, but I do have it for inheritance to help fill in the gap that I fill in the stamina that I won't be necessarily training for as much. And 
I guess for me personally, what I would just say is just focus on trying to get two sets out of it. Because with with Lark pro or Project Lark, it should be quite easy for you to reach a UG. Um, it might just take time to get used to the scenario itself. I said has taken me. I'm still trying to get used to the scenario myself. With you know, trying to get the most efficient way of training. Uh, but I think for medium distance and below, it'd be easier for me. But that's just, that's that's me. <laughs> that's me though. Um, I say focus on speed and probably wise for started uh, to get started. Of course, you want to try to get power as high as you can. If you're not doing kind of hard to say because my my strat is usually speed power and wise when it comes down to medium distance and below and then stamina for like example now i probably want to want, want around 850 to a thousand depending on who because with with Christmas degree cap, I can get away with a little bit lower because of her own unique. It does help out uh, with having a little less stamina. And... With Guts, I'd say you don't have to worry about... I'd say if we're just starting off, just worry about speed and wise, I'd say, I guess. And then once you get used to it, go try and add power into the mix. It just all really depends on what you're trying to build at the end of the day. If you're just building to, comp to have the best Uma you can, then obviously having the highest stats... Having the highest stats would probably be the way to go. Or be the way to go so having speed and wise you should having them capped out you'll most likely be in the UGs as for like sometimes you, it's pretty bad I have gotten a double S on some occasions but it all just depends on the other stats as well if they're too low then Probably won't be able to get it to UG, but I think you should be able to, and especially in Project Lark. But yeah, I don't know if that was helpful or not. Kind of just gave more of a what I just do in general. Because for Project Lark, you definitely want to focus on speed. When it comes down to this training scenario, obviously because of the need to have 900 plus speed by the time you hit the first overseas training, at least. But that's one thing, so. Lots to, well. Actually, speed should be a given. Like, speed is technically the most important stat <laughs> to... Should be the first stat you want to raise up. From there, everyone else just... Everything else just follows. That's what I should say about that. Wise for... I believe... Wise for... Skill activations. Uh... Power for acceleration, right? And then guts. I'm never too sure how to describe what guts is because I just think of guts as like towards the end of the during the final spurt. That's how I usually see it. But yeah. I'd say speed, wise, power would be the three main stats to focus on. Medium distance and below. And then speed, stamina, wise, 
Power if you can squeeze it in for long distance. Yeah. That's what I would say. But I am no expert in this game. So <laughs> there are others in the comments that could help you as well. So if you want to ask them, you can ask them as well. But yeah, thank you for the comment. I'll probably respond to that. Oh no, I'll most likely still respond to that after the video is done. I just want to focus on the the run for now. But I'll definitely respond to that after. Maybe I'll give a better explanation <laughs> when I write it, when I type it down, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I only got, what, three or four skills? Pretty tempted to get Shadow Break, but... Oh, here we go. That should be the last of it. What to do? I don't think I unlocked... No, I probably did. I probably did. I was gonna say, don't think I unlocked the dates for the talkie made, but I'm yeah, I did. I don't know if that was supposed to happen. I s I felt like I didn't fat finger that, but apparently I did. Now I don't want to go for that anymore. So we're just gonna heal or recover our energy. I'm just going to grab these now so I don't... Because I'm going to get them anyway for the next Lark race. Alright, so we do have about 700 speed. Not too bad, so we need about 200 at least. 200 more at least to get 900 speed. But have to worry about power and whys. So we'll see what happens here. I uh, don't know what I would do here. I think I'll do this and then just hope for a wise training. That's what I will do. No? Okay, then I'll just give it to Waz. Okay, we got all of that. Haven't gotten any luck. Well, I did get my first UF with Agurika, but where we are now for myself, at least, I want to get past UF Probably get as close to UE as close as possible. And then I'd be more excited to show you guys. So that's pretty much the main reason why I haven't, you know, been like, hey guys, I did this. So trying to set the bar a little too high. But you know what? I feel like since it's medium distance and below, or since I'm getting ready for medium distance, I feel like I have a better chance to, you know, make this happen. Definitely got the speed. It's still trying to give me speed. I'm thinking I should give some love to Guts here. I don't want it to be too low. But at the same time, I'm looking at my health or energy. And it's like, yikes. <laughs> still gave it a speed, but we'll see. Can I get some Ys here? Okay, I like that. I like that. You know what? I'll do... Oh no, I can't level 3 it. Let's not level 3 it. We'll just take it. Then... I think I'll be okay just taking the wise one, but... Just, yeah, I probably. Hmm. 
I don't know. I kind of got used to what Darren Endless said and just try not getting it. Or, yeah, getting it. But we'll see what happens. I most likely will have enough by the time we finish the first overseas training, so. Where is this little, okay, it's over here. Ooh, okay. Let us get this, this. That should have bumped up. Yup. Yup. Pretty high speed and we might as well just do this already. We got it back. Uh, I think we'll be okay. Perfectly fine. We had like, what, close to 1100 speed? Probably the highest speed I've had going into this. Now that I'm realizing it right now. So now... Hopefully, I can get some work on Wise. A little bit on Power. Maybe a little bit on Guts. But off the rip, we're going to have to... Arrest. Because we didn't get a Wise training. But there's a time to give me Wise training. It's literally now. I'm fairly certain I don't have 40 yet for the S double S matches. They have 30. So we'll just use it. Maybe it'll restore my energy. I didn't take a look at it. I know there's symbols there. I'll tell you. do the bottom one has a lot of whys there we go just keep giving me that and we'll be good hopefully this is like the push for whys to make it now this goes up to like the 20s or higher i will go for speed but for now i'm just going to solely focus on wise oh no pretty sure this raises motivation too right let's do it i do need one more at least does it raise motivation doesn't look like it <laughs> uh okay Oh, there has to be a way. I don't want to go out on a date just to raise their motivation. Did I just do it? Mm, debating. I'll use it on power. See what happens. Still not high enough, so I will just forcefully do this. Kind of sucks, but that sucks too. <laughs> Did I just gone out on a regular date? This is just two turns down the drain, but but it's okay, I guess. We'll still have time here. Now, power, I do want it to at least be an A plus, I guess, before heading into the second overseas travel. But we'll see what happens here, cuz. It is quite low, it's barely an A. 
So I want to see. And we also have to worry about Wise, who hasn't made it to S yet. Or thousands. Normally around the four to second overseas travels where I literally catch up with Wise. So we'll see. Was it lower than usual? Maybe. And we could do this and then the triple S. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got that out of the way. Now we are in the final part. Oh no. Oh no, we still have three more days. Final part, huh? Good job, me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I take that back. Give me like two more turns, then we'll be in the final part. How's our stamina doing? Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. How is that, right? I think I can make that work. And then... I'll use this for the last one. There we go. Should have... Should be good. Now, the moment of truth is these next... Last five training? Four for... This... Four for now, and then one at right after. I'm looking for wise and power here. Now, I know I don't have power... As a card port card so we're just gonna have to make it work with what we have hopefully it'll just give me like 30 30 so like 60s that would be probably good enough to make it to 1200 because i just need to make it at least to 1130 i think i want to say 1130 like 1135 i'd say just to be sure if my calculations were correct from that one time, I counted the stats you get at the end. So that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for here. Interesting. I will still do this, though. Okay. Let me grab the power one here. Let me just grab the power and wise one already. Because I know I'm going to use those. I'm going to need those two anyway. There we go. This is hard because I don't think I'll be able to get wise up to 1200. I don't think I'll be able to get wise to 1200. Power is barely going to be okay, but it's wise unless we get the whole Sataki Mei and all that there. That's probably the only way I could see us getting it. Speed is really high, though. Speed is pretty high. Higher than what I would normally get. That 1500 right now. But. If they give me that power, that I mean, that wise training... Sataki Mei and five other supports or four other supports? I'll gladly take them. <laughs> I said I'll gladly take it, but 
and it happened. Okay. So I guess I'll just do it, because then at least it'll be... If I had one more day. Yeah, if I had one more day. One more day, this would have worked out. Why? who knows? It could still be pretty good. I didn't pick out any other stats. Can I back out? It would be unfortunate if... No, because I didn't get all three stats that I wanted. Above, and she, she still took the win anyway. Alright, let's see how off we are. Pretty sure this has UF potential. Probably just UF. Maybe UF1. Maybe. Because we do have 1500 speed, so. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, we. How much off? We're off by. Yeah, literally one more special training for that. Or. That's special training. Um, what is it called? Rainbow training. So we'll get that. We'll get... Where is it? That. And that. The usual. Actually, I think I'd rather get... An 87. Should be able to get another green skill. It is multiples of 400, right? Yeah. I can grab that. And there we go. Got the skills. Ended off with 1553 on speed, 892 on stamina, plus 16 on power, 792 on guts, and 1159 on wise, which is a shame because it was pretty close. But it is what it is. Just gotta work with what we have and. UF2, higher than what I assume. I said UF1 to highest, but... It probably would have been a UF3 if I had gotten a U, the Ys. So now it makes me think, what would, what do I do to make that higher? Because I feel like my... Highest normal would be like UF3, UF4 at this point. I need to somehow push that. So as you guys can see, I do have a UF4 here for a Guri cap. I'll show you guys in tomorrow's video what that is. Actually, no, let's just do it now. Before I end off the video, let's just do that now. Go here. We should see UF4. So as you guys can see, about the same speed, 1540. 1264 on power, 1228 on wise, and I do have A pluses on both speed and guts. And I also have an S on medium distance. So this is not too bad, honestly. I think capping out maybe on speed and then having a little bit more on guts would make this work out a little bit more. But other than that, I pretty much have the understanding of what I need to do, what I have to do. This is a Teo, pretty much. Pretty much the same, except a little higher, more, a little bit more on speed by like 40. And then guts being a B plus, which is crazy because they're pretty similar in stats. So then obviously this UF4 was from for the League of Heroes. But this was the other tail, the UF3. And you guys can see that my speed and guts are pretty much going to be identical, if not slightly off, just like the UF4 one. But yeah, I've been pretty consistent on the UF3, UF4, the lower ends of the UFs. Haven't touched UF, UF5 yet. 
but hopefully that'll change maybe we'll be able to crack uf5 at one point maybe make it to ue last second or something that would be quite hype especially for me using medium distance but with that being said guys that's going to be the end of this video if you guys did make it this far i do want to say thank you if you guys can hit the like button and also leave a comment down below let me know how you guys are doing with your cm setups obviously i think eugen you said you were working on parents for the next week uh because of the half stamina which would make sense because you know it's cheap parents <laughs> to... <laughs> i sounded weird to say but it is uh cheap on the stamina to get some i guess great 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 grandparents from what you said uh and also if well, i mean y'all probably didn't y'all didn't pull for ks miracle so i was gonna say let me know if you all pulled but pretty sure y'all didn't and yeah that is pretty much it tomorrow will most likely be new year's key to sun black as for a replacement for if i was to replace teo or cap maybe shoot mr cb uh maybe even not it's a Taishin. i don't know maybe even tamamo cross if i choose to but it is what it is guys thank you once again and as always i'll see you in the next one peace <laughs>